morning, Brooklyn class, and welcome back to Homeschool with Carly, where I will be posting daily lessons for you to either follow along or just watch. And remember, if you like these videos, hit subscribe below so that you get notified every time I make one. So let's get started. So for today's lesson, we are going to learn about the effects of air pressure on water. So for this experiment, you will need a bowl, a lot of water. I filled up a glass pitcher, but feel free to fill up anything that you want. A piece of cardboard, which I'm using a Trader Joe's Taco Shells box piece. Okay, nothing special. And again, a mason jar. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take the glass and put it inside the bowl. Now for this experiment, it could make a mess. So the bowl is going to be especially helpful. So I'm putting the glass inside the bowl and I'm gonna take my pitcher and I'm gonna fill the glass. Now, I'm not gonna fill the glass just halfway. I'm going to fill the glass all the way to the top, okay? So it's okay if I make a mess because there's a bowl underneath. Okay, so the glass is filled all the way to the top. So one thing I should note is that there is a dip in the water, okay? So that dip is going to be especially important in about a few minutes, okay? So it's fully to the top. If I were to pick this up, it would explode. So you're going to need your cardboard paper, and I'm going to use this side versus this side because this is shinier, so it won't absorb the water as quickly. So you take your cardboard and you place it directly on top of the glass. Okay, now is the scary part. <laughs> You're going to flip this glass upside down while holding the cardboard on top. So let's see, can we do a magic trick? Here goes. Okay, so if this works correctly, if I let go of this cardboard, the cardboard should stay attached to the cup. Yay! So as you can see, this experiment works. So let's find out why this happened. So let me flip this upside down and explain. So why this happened is because at the very top of this glass, there is a little gap in the water, like a dip, right? So that dip fill is filled with air, okay, air pressure. And the outside of the glass is filled with air pressure as well. But the inside of the glass has a lot of water in it. So the amount of air pressure at the top of this dip compared to the amount of air pressure around the glass is very different. So when I flipped this glass upside down, the pressure the air pressure from the outside of the glass is so strong that it pressed against the cardboard to keep the cardboard from falling off. Science is amazing. This was a really cool magic trick that you can show your friends and it's really easy to do. You barely need any materials. So I hope you like that lesson for Wednesday and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, thank you.